Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Sea of Stars tonight. Uh, last time we made our way over to Watcher Island, explored some of the caves, and got all the way up into the underwater bits. Uh, the town. I forget what the town was called. Um, but now we're in kind of this water temple -y bit. We did the puzzles on one side, and then we're about to go through this big-ass important-looking door. Um, so let's go through this big-ass important-looking door. Can't push it open, blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, it looks like it either raises up. I guess there's a like a faint line down the middle, too, so who knows. Let's li lift it up. Lift it up with our magics. Oh, okay. It's supposed to not. Okay, yeah. Why not, Garl? Give it a try. Like, Garl's been right most times about just kind of, yeah, why don't we just fucking do this? And he's right, generally speaking. Oh, that was the end of the little bit, man. We went that far last time, and we didn't do the extra, like, minute to get to here. All right. The door shut. Whatever. I'm able to reach Mesa Island in time, blah, 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 blah. turned into a world eater. Yeah, okay, well, we'll see about that. There's a in a world we're lost. Okay, no, spoilers, Archivist. Come on, man. <laughs> Single question. How far How far might they go? Should fate be given a nudge and the door that once sat closed were to be opened? I don't know, all the way, maybe? Like, in, in for it, right? You're in for everything. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see you. Oh, I would laugh super hard if this was the door to- Oh my- <laughs> Are you kidding? So Garl's right! Just fucking knock on the door! There you go. He's right yet again. Oh man, okay. Excuse me, I'm to deserve me work, yada yada yada. Hey, you really- That's- Titles are for stories and this is calling your shan. Okay, okay. Very good. Clue the next hole. Alright. Right, so you're the immortal alchemist? Archivist. But yes, alright. Close. Close enough. Yeah, we need to we need to undo fate or, or beat fate or retry fate or something, right? You just fix all of it? Can't can't you do the thing what which the world is saved and we don't gotta die? Mm. Bound by a strict code. You know what? I can respect that too. Respect that. Gotta have honor. Gotta have honor. As a suffering sue if I were to take matters into my own hands. Okay. Worse than a dweller turning into a world eater. Eh, that seems pretty bad. As I understand, in the grand scheme of things, your reality is simply one of many. Oh. Fucking tiny blue dot in the vastness of space type shit. Alright. Unleash Aferol's wrath on countless others. Unacceptable. Okay. Who, who, who the fuck's Aferol? 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 Who? Former associate. Oh. Well, that's no good. Uh, the immortal alchemist, Aferol, Aferol is the Fleshmancer. Okay, yeah, we've heard of, heard of him. I think, right? Ah, shit! <laughs> Getting somewhere here, too. They were all safe, at least. He, he's gone. He, he left. He's he's done. But you got the Dweller of Strife to deal with, right? Um... <laughs> but a loser. Oh, Garl. Such an optimist. He's not wrong, I guess. Time. Time is of the essence. We need to get into Mesa Island. Can you help? Might. First, let's determine whether or not you can help yourselves. We know how to fight. I mean, that's only part of the equation, right? Uh, whether you truly are who I'm hoping you are, I'll send you to a remote location where encased in the ice lies a long-lost artifact. Okay. <clears throat> so, I won't, see, I won't, won't tell you anymore. But you'll find it, eventually. Yeah, go ahead. Go to the... Go to the frozen peak that is definitely not in the messenger. <laughs> Get the artifact, then I'll fucking listen to you. Alright, let's go. <laughs> cool.
cool. Garl had it right. Just fucking knock on the door. Mm-hmm. There we go. There's the... There's the, the messenger song right there. One of one of many, of course, but ah, this one's pretty cool. Alright, so here we are. Frozen Peak. Okay, good. They put us right at a save point. That's that's good. Right at the start of a news section. Hell yeah. We're not missing anything. No secrety secrets. No secrety secrets just yet. Hmm, those enemies almost look familiar too, don't they? Almost. I say almost. I don't exactly remember. 70 is a pretty good strike. Good job, Zale. Garl, can you finish up the 20? Oh, yeah, you can. And some. Nice. Great fight. 1200 XP. Okay, oh, I see a thing up there. Uh, is there a climby bit here, maybe? Hmm, or maybe there's just another cave up above somewhere else that'll get us there, too. Alright, well, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, yeah, see that. Ah, melt it. Nice, that's cool. Alright, um, okay, no, I want that first though. Let's see a chest over there. Oh, cool. I actually want to hear the nighttime version of this too. Ah, it's super, super rad. Okay, we'll keep it on the nighttime version for a bit. Sheet. Okay, cool. Expand out the jukebox a bit, I guess, huh? Maybe we give that to the band of pirates, right? That'd be kind of neat, too. Okay, so now we're up here. Uh, maybe we can drop down over there and get that conch. Oh, look at that guy over there. <laughs> this is Ice DJ, motherfucker. What is that called? <laughs> I'm sorry, Boulder Douche, huh? Okay, that seems a little on the nose, but all right. It's, it's fine, I guess. Um, all right, Zale, you need the magic thing, right? To do the fire and the, the blade and whatever. Excellent, okay. Mm, I guess we'll give Garl the next bit. Okay. Oh. Oh boy, that's a heck of a lead up. Alright, well, I don't want to give him any more time than he's gonna need here, but I also want to get these other dudes out the running. Ah, okay. So it's a little sudden at the end. Uh, Garl, can you do 42 just on a. Oh, you can. Alright. Uh, well, I'm probably not gonna get him out before he attacks, so it'll be good to see what his thing does. Ah, nuts. Okay, even Blair does 38 in a crack there. It's good. Oh, okay. Alright, maybe I want to focus this guy down first in the future, then. He was doing... He did a lot there. Across all of us. Uh, okay, we do have a party heal coming now. Let's go. Mm, it's the combo on it. There we go, that's better. Okay. About 2,000 XP out of that. That's nice. That's good shit. Alright, so the other thing should be up 
th okay, it's there, but it's from a cave exit. Oh, and then there's a free hillabops up here. Okay, now oh, whatever. <laughs> Let's reset it back to the daytime one. Okay, that's that's cool too. Oh, I see. Okay, there's a cave entrance right there. Hmm. Okay. Where's the thing which controls this? Mm. There we go. I was <laughs> like, can we quick tap him out of there? Alright, ooh, that's a lot of... Hmm, did we have a multi-strike blade thing we can do? Or no, I get no, we can use Sarai. That's right, that's right, that's right. Alright, um Yeah, Spalaire will have you do that. And then Zale. And then sorry Garl, we'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, good. Just get him out of the queue. Excellent. Alright, how much do we got left on that guy? 73? Uh, Alright, Sarai, I'm gonna want Garl back in here. He's the big hitter. Can he do 73? Oh, not quite. That was a nice number, though. Okay, well, let's do some work on this one. Pretty easy to pretty easy to do, so we'll do it. Uh, so we should get maybe another 69 out of this, right? Ah, 68. Okay, that's our minus a bit. All right, take another couple turns to get them, anyways. Are we gonna be able to get him? Oh yeah, Carl, finish it off. There you go. Hmm. Undestroyable thing yet, so we might be getting a new ability soon. And then give me a, a chance to get the first strike there. Oh well. Um Listen to the lo-fi chill beats to study to here for a bit, I guess. Um Garl, can you do fifty-five in a or fifty-one? Yeah, you can. Ah, still haven't nailed that one yet. Ah, oh. that was that was weird. <laughs> okay. Oh, we've only got Zale, huh? Shit. I don't know, man. Hey, game over. How you doing? Let's see ya. All right. So we're clearly not gonna stop whatever that dude's about to do. Oh. Okay. Good read. Um, Carl, I need you. You can do. Oops! Targeted the wrong one. Damn it. There we go. It's a rough one to try to read. Alright. Zale, can you do 34? Yes, you can. Alright. Okay. Alright, 
We're gonna need a party heal here. Can you do 54 with the power up there? You cannot, boo. All right, shouldn't murder anybody. Ugh. Do you definitely need that uh, heal to go though? Well, might be more important to get that guy out of his thing. Yeah, we'll do it this way. And let's try in there for the next one. And then Blair, finish it off. Hopefully, please do not target Blair, thank you. Ah. Okay, do we want Sarai in here or Garl? Garl needs the heal anything else so uh, combo party heal ah I've been messing up that combo a bit ow all right let's get you off the board thank you I don't think we're gonna do that in one. That's 68, it's pretty good. Give Valer the kill. Nice, 2600 XP. Beautiful. All right, well, oh, I see. So clearly that's the, the doorway into this thing down here. Can't do nothing about it just yet. Oh, a garl. <laughs> uh, poor guy nearly didn't make it. Okay, well, I mean, since we are in an ice area, right? It would behoove us to maybe do a fireball and see what it does. Ninety-seven, hot damn. That's a, a pretty big fireball. Alright, Blair, you get this guy. And then Garl, you'll be fine here, right? Nice. There we are. Okay, now there's the next uh, save and rest point down there. Stability here soon. Yeah, there's nothing over there, huh? Okay. Let's go down here then. Oh, I see. Yep, I dropped us down in here. Ah, <laughs> one more quickie fight before we heal up. That's fine. Um, do we have anything that can maybe knock this guy out in one? 90 is a lot. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do a moon ring. Pretty good. Fifties across the board. Uh thirty-four there. Um I think Zale can knock him out in 34, right? Ah, no, he didn't. Ah, well, whatever. It's fine. We're going to heal anyways. Oh, hard to read when you can't see where he's starting. All right, Carl, I'm going to need you to just get this guy off the field then. Oh, that goes up in there. I don't want to do that just yet. Could be something scary there. This is funny though, we'll have to melt that eventually, I'm sure.
expand a quick save. Why not? Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. You can have another little bat tool here. Managed the two on three before. But, uh, see if. What is that? Four and two, right? Okay, we, we can do this. Yeah. That's fine. We'll, we'll manage this. Oh boy, look at that. That's a garbage set of locks. Um. not going to be able to break all those, unfortunately. Even with, like, a really good moon ring, that'll only take off half of them. Do we have anything that does... Poison and... Oh, like, something like this would be great. But that's an entire fucking three combo bits. I don't have that many combo bits. But alright, let's do just reduce it by half or something. That's just, that'd be fine. Not by half necessarily, but okay, eh, the greatest. <laughs> um, if we swap out Sarai, we can do the poison bits too, I guess, and or we do this and give ourselves a couple more turns. That might be all right. There we go. Okay, good read, good read. Um, all right, uh, Zale's the only one here though. Do we have a, oh, shit, that needs um, two combo bits for what I want, like that one. That one would be perfect, but we don't have enough. We're not gonna get enough combo bits for that. Nuts. All right. Well, we can harm reduction as best we can here. She doesn't have a fire into poison, huh? Can we do another? Uh, no, we don't have enough for that either. I suppose I could have used an MP restore and then done another Disorient. Well, too late. I don't have enough for Venom Flurry either. But we can do this. Okay, well, 85% is better than 100%, I guess. Uh, I don't know, I don't like this. Uh, okay, good block. Okay, that didn't do much. That was only a single target. That's fine. Probably still do like focusing this fucker down. Oops. Dude, single target and whoops. Love the combo defense there. Good job. At least just don't target Sarai. Oh, that's a. Uh, oh, okay. That was an interesting little bit. I suppose I could swap out to Garl just to ensure. But I do want Sarai around for the party deal, so. Eh. Okay. Now just don't target Sarai with this and we're fine. Yeah. Perfect. I actually get the combo on this this time. Nope! <laughs> Fuck. Alright, what do we got there? Blade and poison? Uh, Sarai, you got that, right? Yeah. Yeah, fuck you! you, magic user. Now it's just gonna be a matter of... burning this guy out, I guess. 126 is pretty good. That was probably overkill, but there's no kill like overkill. 
That's a less stressful fight than the other one. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> uh, Carl getting saucy there. Alright, let's get him back in the park. <laughs> um, oh, right. Sidle our, sidle our butts up in there. Going back that way. I'm sure, we'll be fine. Hmm, yeah, okay. Oh, I can't quite do that, huh? It's like it's busted to hell. Alright, nope, guess we're not doing that from there just yet. Ah, here we go. Garl's got an idea. <laughs> or he just knew when to back the fuck off and let the, the magic users take care of it. There we go. We got some, like, sun brass knuckles or something. Or oh, salsa stamina. Okay, okay. As a solstice, right? <laughs> time of day without needing to stand on a celestial rune. Hey, look at that. Alright. Into it. That's great. Now we can hear both the night and the day versions of music whenever we want. That's pretty sick. I think I do like the night version of this tune better. Ah, there's still the question of how to do this, though. Oh, I see. It's just a diff- it's a different kind of melt. A lunar melt, if you will. Very interesting. Alright, so it's right about there being a new power coming our way. Well, or an easier use of an existing power, I guess. Oh, I see power back under here. Uh, did they give us a free heal? They didn't. Okay, that's fine. Just take this one. It's just gonna be a matter of. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> so there was some free shit over there that I did not see. Alright, and now. Yeah, okay, so now we can get. It's all melted out. Excellent. Alright, I gotta try to remember how much stuff we saw on the way up. It's definitely that thing down there, which we can get them right away. I think. Well, actually, no. Hold up a second. Yeah, hey. <laughs> that first. Oh, need to be by it. That's right. Let's 
significant clarity. Look like a normal ass thingamadang here. Skills cost one less magic? Oh, hot damn. Um, yes. Yes, we want to give that to... Damn, I, I guess I'll give it to... I don't really want to give it to Garl, but he's got the only one with the, the thing that I can give up right now. We don't really need undead power. I really prefer to... I want to give it to Blair or Zale, like either of those two. Or I guess we could give it to um, Sarai as well. She's got the power booster and the speeder thing. Nah, I guess that's good the way it is. All right. Just have to use Garl's skills more often. Okay. Ah, so now we can move that around. Nice. I get it. We can move it here first so we can melt that ice block. Uh, presumably. Is that gonna work like that? It's just gonna go back to moon. Oh, I see. Duh. Move that this way. Yeah. Item roulettes. That sounds fun. What is that? Picks a random item for a special effect. Huh. Alright. Cool about embracing chaos most times. Oh, all right, actually, I'm gonna move this back over here. Uh, oops, pretty closer to it. So then we can move this down here. Okay, another saleable, that's fine. That's a pretty good set of holes. I like that. That a lot, in fact. That put in place. Okay, there's one more that I want to grab before we go, and this might be leading us right to it. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, was there anything else on my way up that I missed? I guess we're going to be in good position to come back if we need to, right? Because there's the way down. Take a quick spin around here. Let's see if there's any other melty bits that we need to take care of. Mm, no, this is just standard movie bits. There was one more. Oh, no, that's just the way down. Okay. Did I go up around this way? Oh, right. Yeah, and this is the other save point. Okay, nope. We got everything, I think. Excellent. Well designed for them to just kind of... Circle us back to the beginning here. There's nothing else they're hiding from us down here. That would be just the thing to do. 
Okay, now it looks like we're good. Hey, great alchemist or Rashan or whatever. We've got we got the thing, the solstice amulet. That's the thing you wanted us to get, right? Because I don't want to go back there. <laughs> there a few moments ago. We were on Mesa Island. That's where Frozen Peak, Glacial Peak was. <laughs> or can you maybe just te teleport us there if you want to be nice? <laughs> that won't help. Okay, we're in a hurry. You said time was of the essence, etc, etc. Alright, final challenge. We gotta fight you. Wake the giant stonehead, huh? Centuries of maceration. Huh. Okay. I mean, you know, that's... Vial of time, huh? Okay. Alright, sounds neat. Let's, let's, let's go get it. Where is it? Somewhere on Watcher Island. Giant statue from which the island got its name is the key. Okay. <laughs> it always involves big statues. I mean, when you got a gimmick, you go for it, right? You, you lean into that. Alright. I mean, it is a little ridiculous, but hey, you know, it's, that's adventure games for you. You gotta do the weird stuff. I think it's, it's very tiring, yada yada. Okay, let's, let's go. Northern part of Watcher Island and, okay, Torment Peak, yeah. The, the place they didn't want us to go before, right? And now we must go. Oh, crap, that's right, cleansing, dwellers, etc. The, the thing we did very early. <clears throat> Eclipse, etc., right? Has a lot of magic. Right, that thing we just picked up that lets us control the fucking time of day. You would think it has some good magic in it, right? This conviction the amulet will resonate. Okay, got it. Okay, we're all getting something. What are we all getting? Cool shit? Good stuff? Tethered Mind Potion. Alright. Cheers, I guess. You would say see if just spending time that we could play. So alright, well, you know. A little a little nip of courage to help us through, right? Form of quick travel here between here and Lake Dakaria, right? Huh? And then this goes back to the whatever, right? No, I don't want to go to Glacial Peak. We're just there. It's cold there. I don't like it. Um, Dakari Village, sure. Yeah, that's where we want to go. See, who needs an epoch when you've got to teleport doors and shit? Oh, yeah, that empty little island that I thought something was going to be at. Uh huh. All right. Very good. Very good, then. Alright, so now we gotta go to Torment Peak, right? Let's go to Torment Peak. No, we can't control the time of day whilst we're having a swim. I wanna hear the night music before we go. Hmm, not bad. Oh, wait, we have to leave to the north. That's right. Duh. Duh. -uh. Yeah, 
And then there's this other thing over here that it's clearly an entrance to something, but blocked off for the time being. And then there's this, which is just like, yeah, what is this? Oh, it's a crystal or something. Oh, cool. We can, can we always control time of day on the overworld, even without the thing? I feel like maybe that was the thing. Oh, well. All right, Torment Peak. Don't, don't anybody lose their minds or whatever. Ah, I see. So even if we were to have gone here, we wouldn't have been able to control this because it's all busted shit. But now we got the Solstice Amulet or whatever, so now we can do it. Okay, statues and whatever. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Kind of predictable, but sometimes you need the good old predictable adventure game stuff. Hmm. <clears throat> Ooh. Scary. Well, let's have a look around. As much as we can see, I guess. Okay, good. Again, starting us off the save point. Definitely a harbinger of good things. Let me jump down here. No, nuts. How about here? No? Okay. Whoa, that's a little scary, actually. Bonk. <laughs> oh, gross. Okay. Ugh. Oh, and they've got red names, too. I don't like that. Does that mean um, they're susceptible to magic, perhaps? Mm, maybe. Ooh, that's gross. I don't like it. The hell can you do? Oh, they're susceptible to only magic. Oh, ouch. Ooh, 46. Pretty strong thing. Uh, does it count if I use Garl? Yes, it does, but very lightly. Only very lightly. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Super susceptible to magic. Uh, Alright, well, let's get everybody powered up here. Garl, I'm gonna have you go first. And we can give probably Zale triple power. Whoa, 474 is pretty good. Okay, yep. Yeah. Good thing we had that mind tethered whatever from uh from Rashan there. Yeah, this would probably scare a normal tier adventurer. Yeesh, this doesn't look great. <laughs> Alright, uh, Zale looks like you're gonna be the only one doing a thing here. Uh, oh, he's got- oh, he can do- oh, he can do multiple of that. Alright, uh, yeah. Get that rolling. And do, uh... Oh, I bet that's, uh... That's much better if you've managed to nail the combo on it. Alright, uh, you gonna do any... Okay, okay, so Garl can still damage that one. Actually, here, let's do it this way. Got a couple, yeah, I want to get rid of the one in the back, actually. First, so, let's get this. Excellent. Oh, okay, that's the, okay, all right, got it. 
318. Hot damn. Oh, ah, so close to a level up. All right, whatever. Oh, I see. Okay, light up the place a bit. <laughs> okay, I don't see a switch over there. Let's do that first. Climbable, sure is. Oh, that looks like progress. I don't want to do that. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet. That looks like a big ass fight arena. Do not want the big ass fight arena just yet. Does that? That hits everything, huh? Yeah, regardless of where they are, that's pretty neat. Uh, that might actually be preferable, huh? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, let's give you the power on it, too. Oh, jeez. I... Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. There we go, there's our level up. I forget if they give you a free heal on levels, I don't think they do, right? But we do get treated to some sick-ass music and better stats, I guess. Uh, ooh. Hmm. Ooh, two extra myths this time, that's neat. Um, okay, let's beef some magic attack. <clears throat> Surprise magic attack is already 50 plus. Hmm, I would like that extra MIP for like a double a double delay thing of a ding or whatever, but I would like extra magic attack even beyond that. And her normal attack's not great either, so let's give her that. And then Garl, he's got fucking power for days, the way it is. We don't really do a lot of magic with him, I don't think. Or whatever passes for magic for him. Um, so yeah, let's keep beefing his attack there. I think give Zale some more hip, though. That seems good. Yeah. He's scraping 120. How's everybody else? 150, 155? Oh, right because we got the plus 20 from the party thing, and he's got the plus 15 from one of the things he's got. So, all right, it didn't take into account that. So, all right, while well, everybody's, you know, low to mid one, one hundos there, that's pretty good. Seems like an excellent amount of health to have. Taking me way far out of the way here. This isn't what I wanted. Today. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take that one. That's fine. Uh, okay. Moon shit. Moon shit and poison shit. Um, all right. Sarai, you get poison shit. Okay, I ain't mean, good enough, but whatever. And then moon shit. That's you, Valer. Ability. It's awesome. Uh, poison shit again, huh? Can we do? Can we do 80 at one go? I don't think so. Probably, huh? Can we do 50 at one go though? 
Maybe. Nope. 38, though. Uh, oh, gross. I don't know if I like things described as flesh anything. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we've got some magic. But I would prefer maybe to just knock this guy out. Take the hit there, and that's fine. Uh, Valer, let's double you up on this one. Although, probably only one would have done it. 53 is a hell of a fucking... Uh, health regain, though. Um, Zale, you need some magic back there, buddy. There we go. Alright. a bit like a fight arena, too. I was hoping this was going to curve us around to whatever that other switch was. Maybe it still will. Yeah, this one here. That might be the other... <clears throat> that might be one of the two there. Okay, we're, uh, we're going to go back, then. I thought that little cave entrance into the big-ass fight arena was going to be actual progress. I didn't want to do that, but I think I maybe misjudged what that was going to be. So let's go back and do that. Because clearly the second bit of this is off to the right even further, and I don't want to do that. Yeah, because look, there's the switch. Which, all right. Oh, no. Maybe. I don't want a fight to come out through that door, and we're not going to be ready for it. So let's go back. All this stuff is probably still lit up, right? Yeah. So there might be another better weapon or whatever in that other cave, too. Which would be, in fact, ideal. Alright, ready for a fight or not, I guess. Just three. Phantom daggers, yeah, okay. Called it, sort of. Um, six to attack, hell yeah. Ah, there we go. <laughs> ah, moons. Moons all the way around. Hundos. Wow. Extremely good. Did you do normal damage to these now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, actually, let's get Garl in here. We'll have him do just a quickie little tiny heal to, to Zale here, right? Let's get everybody mostly up and ready. Excellent. And then we'll have him get his stuff back a little bit, too. Alright, good. Good stuff. Makes me wonder if we'll get some better weapons for everybody else, too. We're here in the gloomy ass peak of torment or torment peak or whatever. Yeah, 
steps there, and then the other thing on the right. Can we just tap it from here? No. Press it with our hands like a sucker. Alright, was I right in that there was going to be a fight coming right out of there? Uh, nope. Okay. That's fine. Oh, it's needs to a heal point right away. Nice. Okay. That works too. Oh right. Actually we've got like two or three things for teaks too, right? I think we can only do that when we actually set up a camp. Be like, hey, yeah, we got a thing. We'll talk to everybody. Sarai's not a big talker. I'm, I can respect that. And Garl is just like, yeah, I mean, the headmaster's kind of a chump, but I'm here. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you are. And Zale's like, yeah, okay, we gotta do this. And then Teeks, we've got some stuff. Like several things, in fact. Nomads of the Seas. Three Sisters. Vampire Rose. Okay, lots of narrative. Let's see. What What's it about? Tell me about the Vampire Rose, please. The botanist who attempted to trick death by growing a rose so pretty she couldn't bear to reap it. I spiraled into confusion as she appreciated the beauty of life for the very first time. Their next action was fueled by jealous rage or opportunistic guile no one really knows. Using wicked magic, she turned the flower into something even more beautiful. But it was super cursed. Vampire Rose. Think of beckoning beauty, compelling all the lay eyes upon it to willingly take part in their own corruption. Eh, you know, as one does. The magical rose reached all corners of the world, carrying a simple promise. A promise who could resist eternal life. They could take it. They should not provide an initial touch. The price became apparent all too quickly. Oh, don't tell me. Hubris wins again. Uh, for every second spent holding the Vampire Rose, a year would be added to one's lifespan. Oh, Okay, but, where's the but? But for every borrowed year, a thorn would grow on one of their bones. Ouch! Um, hmm, yeah, that seems pretty not great. All the people that touched the vampire rose most realized their mistake instantly. Having extended their lives to about a single year, they'd release their grip and live on, only with a very painful reminder. Felt in their every move. Isn't that just getting old to begin with? Uh, there were others unable to stop themselves and became what few would describe as human or even alive. It's unclear whether the vampire rose yet exists. Everyone agrees on one thing. Touching it is bad news. In the end, death always gets a last laugh. <laughs> yes, also true. Good story, Teeks. Good story. All right, we got two more. That was a good story. Uh, three sisters, sure. And then whenever twins are born on a solstice, fate itself flips a coin. Innate magic would be either incredibly heightened or corrupted into something that ought to be contained for the greater good. Generations many solstice warrior twins have accomplished great deeds, but despite their immense potential, could never ascend into guardian gods. Century requires one of the winter and one of the summer, but kindred souls are not meant to part for eternity. Hmm. Particularly warm summer solstice, fate's coin landed on its edge, and triplets were born. Ah, the three sisters, I get it. Any of those things indicated soon became apparent that a morality had split itself in three, as if to see their innate magic expressed in distinct flavors. Their actions would inevitably drive them far away from one another, and they were given annoyingly similar names. <laughs> Moyara, Ro Moyara, Yamara, and Romaya. Oh, hey, we know Romaya. As she was the, the necromancer that we fought and got a soul stone. <clears throat> Moyara was flown to Moon Cradle. She became a formidable solstice warrior. Zeeth the Academy's headmistress. The star protector and gave her life while leading the charge against the Dweller of Strife. Yamara is the neutral one, better known as the Crone of Songshroom Marsh. Hmm. Okay, that sounds a little bit familiar too. And she's an observer of the distant future, offering cryptic insights on key events, blah blah blah, looming threats, yada yada yada. She correctly predicted that the Fleshmancer would leave if the Dweller of Strife were defeated at the cost of her life. Oof. <clears throat> Hmm, okay. Better immense power, she remains impartial in all conflicts. Ah, okay, so this game's Switzerland, got it. 
Now, uh, Ramaya devoted her every waking moment to studying what could be understood of the Fleshmancer's ways, developed forbidden arts of her own. It, yeah, that makes sense. Understanding of blood magic, she being the first necromancer and devised a way to trap souls with an object. It's not great. Uh, there's the candles that never burn out. Their signature green fire. Extreme commitment to differing paths. Three sisters have prompted countless musings on the choices one makes in life. Live bravely, bravely and selflessly and embrace death. Live a quiet and peaceful or solitary life. Or to become a sick-ass necromancer. Our confidence and ability to overcome any retribution she might face as a result of her corruption. Eh, okay, you know. Truly really be a trick of fate or the spiteful game of gods unknown. It's simply that in our search for meaning we sometimes mistake pure happenstance for prophecy. I mean, yeah, it's not, not unusual. Well, for the best, we shall never know. The end. <laughs> Alright, that was a pretty good story, too. One more left, though. What was the last one? Nomads of the Seas. Okay. Oh, right, this is about the Dakarians or whatever. It's like a dream. No one believed at first their seemingly eternal journey could finally be over. And the current Oracle of Tides being so young, who could confirm the long-awaited discovery? But they knew, before them, apparently, the Tower of Ants. Ludo, Sudlow, and Sudlow. Yeah. And so it was the Nomads of the Sea who traversed Abyssal Plains since time immemorial. Settle at long last. Having reached their promised land, they started building next to the tower. The Dakari village generations would come and go, each following the guidance, blah, 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 blah. And it's that day they have been the guardians of Ansudlo waiting for the doors destined to open its gate. Oh, right! We did! We opened it by just knocking on the door, right? That was the deal? In this new era, memories of their nomadic days live in classic tales, telling deeds, blah, 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 blah. It's popular by far as the Battle of Fates Guyot. The story of so many versions, it may well just be a myth. It's their abilities, historians have pieced together hints from various retellings, some have dedicated their lives to the subject. They only accepted that the first of the Dakari almost went extinct while crossing the territory of a gigantic sea slug. Huh. What happened next is a matter of much debate, depending on the interpretation of key passages and the credibility of certain sources. Uh huh. The Battle of Fates Giyot never happened, dismissing it as fabrication meant to, meant to scare off would-be pillagers and or frighten children into behaving, right? <clears throat> Theory is mostly seen as a stretch, however, given that such looters' inability to breathe underwater would already be deterrent enough. True enough, I guess. Mystery say the giant sea slug was defeated and the Dakari made their last stand on a flat top sea mount, giving the story its title. Other well, scriptures about sunken ruins are simply too consistent to be ignored. This version of the moment had sealed the monster away when they realized they couldn't defeat it. He was then split into three equal parts, each waiting somewhere in the deep blue for future heroes brave enough to rid the world of this giant sea slug. Extremely important threat. The end. Okay, well that that was probably the weakest of those three stories there, but yeah. But hey, three different things deep in the sea that we can probably go get as like a side quest or something. Alright, rested. Rested and ready to go. Ready to face whatever's down here now. Or is this going the opposite way? Oh, no, oh, there we go. Okay. There's a way. Okay, I don't wanna. No, I wanna, like, do this first. There we go. Because I wonder if that'll affect the, the bits that we do for the battle. This thing. 330. Hot damn. Zale doing the big boy work. Ah. There we go. Uh, ooh, wait. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, what up? Uh, can we do 350 on that? Probably not, huh? Alright. Let's get uh, Sarai in there then. She only does 64 even with that thing, but at least got it out of the, the queue. Alright, put the layer back in there then. No, Zeal will do enough for that one. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> Uh, it really doesn't matter. 
Well, we're gonna do this, then we're gonna give the lair the pretty much full reheal here. Okay, I don't think having those lights turned on affected the battle at all. That's unfortunate, but good to be able to see what we were doing at least. Hmm, yeah. Sneaky little thing up here. Ew, gross. They even changed the footsteps out when we're on this little fleshy bit. Ew. <laughs> Good detail, but also gross. much his fireball is going to do. Just one power, but they're weak to magic, so... Six hundo! Hot damn! Zale. Doing what you need to do there, buddy. Alright, I'd prefer maybe her not to kill him. Yeah, okay. Because I want Zale to get back some stuffs. I think his, his fireball is what, seven? Oh, it's eight. Right. Um, actually. Where is. Who's got the thing which reduces the cost of stuff? That was Garl, right? Yeah. Um, is there something on Zale we can get rid of that I wouldn't mind ditching? Maybe the hip? And we could give him the, the cost, the magic cost reduction thing? I'll give that to Garl instead. He'll be at 64, hot huh? damn. And then Zale will have the cheaper magic. So now he can cast another fireball. Without having to do a normal attack first. Hmm, that should be a switch, shouldn't it? Hmm, oh I see. Well, good thing we've got this thing called a dash strike. That will, uh, murder most things. I wonder what, when we're supposed to combo that one. That feels like a maybe a quick tap on maybe the secondary hits. Okay, I'll give you that one and do that one. Ah, one short, really? Garl, can you just go ahead and, or Zail, rather? Go ahead and murder that one, it's fine. And then Garl, I'll have you. Uh, well, the lair should be able to just, no, really, zero? Oh, we need to be powered up to do that, huh? Well, then Garl needs to do three, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good, now we've gotta Party heal coming anyways, right? Ah! I am flubbing the combo on that. It seems a little, a little silly. Oh well. Ah, and that activates 
that. Yeah, I get it. what that means in general, though. Usually these come in pairs or threes. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. feels like progress over there. Is there something better up top? Maybe a different weapon for somebody else? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, uh, no, it's another, uh... Is that a, what, a health booster, right? Plus 15. Blech. I don't think we have any empty slots, do we? Well, maybe our mysterious fifth party member will, will take that whenever we get them. a fight before we get the free heal and save, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, in fact. Oh, they're gorillas. I mean, I guess that makes sense. <clears throat> An S word? Yes. Why? Yes, it is an S word. Hmm. I don't know if I trust a bunch of little tiny gorillas that just stick their heads in holes in the ground and put their asses in the air, though. Like that seems like a bad, bad idea. But hey, whatever. Group huddle. <laughs> Wait, the Gorilla Matriarch. Wait, Garl, why do you know about the Gorilla? Why does nobody else know about the Gorilla Matriarch? Oh, I see. Okay. That's too You said they were either destroyed or harvested. Oh, boy. I don't know which fate is worse, really. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's no good. All right, well, it, it, it sounds like we're gonna help these uh, little tiny girls out. Yeah, exactly. See, Carl's the Carl's the good guy here. He's just like, yeah, well, of course we'll help. Fuck it, let's, let's help him. I found out everyone don't wanna share. I mean, that's an optimistic way to look at it, sure. Okay, cool. I, I didn't want to have a big fight before we got a free heal or whatever. Let's have a little rest. Never mind the gorillas for a bit. Everybody's got a different opinion on what happened. Oh, I see. Because they're the, the different fucking... Yeah. Alright, I get it. Okay, well, save then. Let's see what we got around here. Thing to the left, or... There's a... Whoa, jeez! Okay, or there's a thing up here. Got it. Oh, I see. This, uh... Yeah, all right, it's a shortcut path back. Say, that looks familiar. And we harvested those mushrooms already.
Okie dokie. Uh, one path forward then. See a red whirlpool down there. Okay, well, here's the gorilla matriarch. Oh, looks like she needs a little bit of help, though. Seed of evil. And then bombing here is going to cause her being close proximity. Okay, well, let's go destroy the seed of evil then and while we're here, right? Hmm. Hmm, doesn't sound great. Good thing we're here to save everything. Defines uh, the perfect player and reforms the mountain to long to it forever. Ah, <clears throat> hence the um, potion of untethered or tethered mind, tethered mind or whatever, so we wouldn't lose our shit in here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we're different. We got a weirdo potion from an alchemist. We're fine, right? We're fine. Seal the mountain again and go. Well, and not before we fucking help out here, I guess, right? Okay. Something, something, no light from the eclipse. Got it. Sarai's like, yeah, no, I got this. Like, you, you go do the eclipse thing, and I'll, I'll be here. Also, yeah, fucking sick-ass portals. Right. Well, well, she's gone. <laughs> okay, I guess, yeah, all right. All right, well, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Also, I don't know that we should be swimming around down here. This seems ill-advised at best, but, but here we are. It's just another shortcut back. Oh, oh, oh. are we going to see this live? Back that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind us. Oh, no. Don't trust your feelings. That's the last thing you should trust. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to end very poorly. Extremely poorly, in fact. Garl, we probably shouldn't... No. <laughs> oh, shit, it's fucking Giga Gaia. Almost precisely Giga Gaia. <laughs> oh, man. Da crap. Oh, no, we don't have poison because Sarai is gone. Ugh, fuck. Alright, well, I mean... Do what we gotta do here. Can we target three things here? Yeah, we sure can. All right. Well, start with the moonerang, right? Zeros. Goody. I'm sure this bit is probably scripted, then, isn't it? Probably scripted. Wouldn't doubt if it was scripted. We're supposed to get our shit beat for like a couple rounds and then Sarai's gonna be out here like Oh wow, okay. That's a lot of different things going on there. Oops, I didn't wanna I wanted to probably do that the other way. Oh, that counted as 
his main lock's getting beat up. All right, well, let's, uh... Carl, how about you do something, huh? That did nothing. Yeah, okay, need more light, etc. Here comes Sarai. Oh, sick cutscene. There you go. Now you're thinking with portals. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, now we're ready to go. Now we're ready to go. Um, we could use a maybe party heal first. There we go, that's better. And then we're gonna want Sarai, probably. There's been a lot of poison locks. Oh, jeez, okay, yep, mm-hmm. All right, let's get Sarai in here, just for grinsies. Uh, okay, I want you to do this. Excellent. Give us a little bit of little bit of stuff to to do here. And Zale, we're gonna give you a big boy fireball, huh? Well, it's gonna hit everything. Great. Bam! 128. Damn. Okay. Big boy damage. Oh. Okay. Good panic taps there. Um, except we don't have. One short of that, too. Okay, well, either way, then, I guess we're gonna have to... Arm reduction. Arm reduction is the name of the game. Uh oh Oh! Okay, well, that wasn't so bad. It's 20s. 20s across the board. <laughs> Whatever. rolling. I think, is that three of them now? Yeah. Alright, Zale, guess what? Another big boy fireball. Yeah, that's what you like to see. And then we've got enough for a party heal, which why not? Beautiful. Actually, no. Let's keep this rolling. Eh, well, actually, no. Um, let's see if we can focus down on one of these fists, because we're doing 300 plus damage. Even just on a single power. Seems like a pretty good deal. Having Zale do the big boy damage with his fireballs is a good deal, too. Okay, I get you. That's okay. Uh, let's see, let's do Sarai first. Get her mips back so she can do a. Oh, jeez. Can do a delay later, right? Oh, or an ultimate. Uh. The. Um. Yes, please, sure. Is like cannons or some shit, right? Well, hell, if it's gonna be called an ultimate. Let's give her all the extra power bits here, too. Hell yeah. <laughs> Peace the fuck out. Oh, I didn't bring back the whole posse, yeah.
fucking fire. Oh, this is sick as hell. Oh, okay, that didn't do very much, did it? <laughs> Aw. I mean, that looked great. Too bad it didn't do more damage. Oh, well. Oh, right, that's a unland bit. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do that then, did I? Crap. Well, no matter. Alright, let's get sailed ready for another big boy attack. Or... Let's see, what do we got there? Poison and... This might be a problem, actually. Well, we can try a big boy Moonerang, I guess. Pretty good, 300s and shit. Okay. Um, okay, let's get Garl back in the mix, then he can at least do some harm reduction here. Or, alternatively, let's keep Sarai in there, do the party heal. Uh, there. And then swap out to Garl. Excellent. better than 100%. Okay, good guard. <laughs> that only does 20. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Um, okay, see, I'm only going to want more of your stuff back here, buddy. Now let's see how you can do a big boy fireball. Oh, his uh, left hand, or right hand, I guess. Stage left hand is down. Now the other one is down. Ah, now we can just fucking open season. All right, let's go. 40 is a little bit disappointing. But now, if I can, I want... Ah, shit, I don't have enough to do her thing. Well, that could be problematic. Uh, but all right. Let's give it back to Garl, I guess, because he's got the most physical attack. Eighty-nine is kind of subpar still a little bit. All right. Is that gonna revive him with his hands? 2100! Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh well, I think we can we can stay ahead of his DPS with our party heals. No matter what happens, really. Um, yeah, let's get to Sarai back in here then. Okay, so then we've got one here. Uh, actually, wait. Let's do... Soriented would be five. That probably wouldn't get me enough, so let's do Venom Flurry instead. And then we can give um, Zale one... One extra little power bit and break him out the queue the way it is. Excellent. Exactly what we needed. And then keep this 
throw one here. You can do a big boy fireball on his next thing. stuff a bit. And party heal here. And maybe once you knock him down again we can use our uh actually wait. Uh, can we the combo here? Solstice strike? And that's it. Okay, so that doesn't really help us much. If we can Really? Right, because we don't have enough here to, to delay him a bit. That's fine. Just get her enough back for Disorient next time. That's hardly worth even defending against, really. It's like... Just Sarai with an ultimate like that? Does Garl have a thing too? No. I guess she's the only one that we've got the ultimate for. That's fine, I guess. Um, yeah, let's use one of those. Okay, that doesn't really hardly do anything the way it is. Um, okay, and another big one. Fireball. Okay, five hundos. Oh, right, okay, there. That's good. A little advice with the ultimate? No, no, that's alright. We'll figure it out eventually, I think. Uh, alright. Should, should be back to pretty much full health. We're up to party heal again, but we don't need to. Let's get this fireball juice back here. Uh, okay, so now she's. Sorient. Just a little bit of stuff here. I'm gonna have enough. Okay, he's not gonna have enough for a fireball just yet, though. Hmm. Let's rotate that back around again, anyways. I guess I may as well exercise some of the layers stuff while we're here. Eh, that was not great. <laughs> okay, we do have enough to do this though. So that should give us. Oh, that accounts for a hit, too. Right. All right, this is good. So now we can do this. And that. Just take him off the queue for Grinzies. And then Big Boy Fireball. Oh, okay. That was a bit quicker. to do party heal yet. Yeah, we may as well. If we have any shortage of <coughs> combo bits, we're in a pretty good rhythm here. And honestly, his attacks are not extremely frightening. and poison, huh? We have enough for everything that we need? We sure do. Um, well, do we actually? <laughs> That'll do one. Yeah, okay, we should be alright here. 
That'll take two out there. Got enough for moons here. There's our two combo bits for party heal again. And then we've got... Okay, just enough to get... Sarai, one more poison bit here. Get him out the queue. Get all the extra magic bits ready for Zale's big boy fireball again. Nice. Okay, and now... <laughs> Now, fucking ultimate it up. See if this does any more than what was it, 150? Hmm, yeah, it's still a bit lackluster. That's right, though. Um, we should have enough time to get Zale and another big boy fireball here before he gets back up. Yeah, just barely enough time. Okay. There we go. 762 is better. Though we might have been better spreading that across some more normal attacks rather than uh, concentrating it on a fireball for AoE, but eh, what are you going to do? Okay, Zale. Uh, do we have enough for... Ah, one short there. Eh, that's fine. Arm reduction. Lackluster kill with a normal ass attack, but hey, what are you what are you gonna do? Fuck you, dweller of torment. Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's uh, eclipse destroy the hell out of this core. Ain't no others to get in our way, right? Bonk. did it. See, so we found a rhythm, it was fine. Why don't you only take a moment, this prism is how you'll find what you're looking for. Hell yeah, just gonna fix the big throwy bit. You can go uh, back to Mist Island. Oh, tiny gorillas. Yeah, alright. There's annoying ass kids, alright. <laughs> hey, look at that. Alright. Yeah, and then do that, and of course, okay, that's gonna open that up, yeah, alright, I knew there was gonna be something there. This better be something really cool. Uh, oh no, is this a slidey puzzle? Oh no, it's a rotatey puzzle. Okay. I was hoping it wasn't one of those fucking sliding tile things. That 
those are annoying. Oh, hey, that was pretty easy. Ooh, that looks fun. Oh, how many of those do we have now? We've got quite a few, right? What did we need? We needed 27 for the next bit. Uh, yeah, all right, perfect. All right, we were looking for the vial of time for um, Rashawn there. <laughs> Oops, I forgot what we were doing. Okay, well, we got it. Sure, he'll be thrilled. He better help us now, because he promised. It's like, one more challenge, We're like, okay, fine, but... But after that... <laughs> Also, what the heck are we doing? Garl, get back in here. Back in the party. There you go. Oh, we should have, uh... We can still do this, right? Where's the, um... There it is. Go get the 27 conch thing. And we should go back and revisit our... Our new town. Be like, hey, here's, here's all these blueprints. Go build some shit. A new um, relic thing. Adds a treasure hunting parrot to the Vespertine. Can be prompted while consulting the map for hints of things left to find. Oh, that's cool. I like that. We'll keep that on. And what, what else is there? Just tell me, uh, like, gives me vague hints. Yeah, something healthy, something relaxing, something potent, something meta. That's right. 35, though. Wow. Okay. Well, it'll be a while. That'll be a hot second before we're getting that one. But I am curious, and since it seems like we're getting to uh, the major story bit again, let's go back and visit the village. Turn in those uh, blueprints, see what they do, and then maybe we'll come back to uh, come back to this. Um, I wish I could just go right to the ship, but I guess I gotta walk the path or swim, I guess. Uh, mm, I don't really want to. These dudes are gonna be nothing but just an annoyance. I don't want to fight them. Whatever, you'll probably give me like two XP. Woohoo! sailing too. It's the nighttime sail music. Is this the right island? Nope, that's Mesa Island. We're going there later, right? Was it that was like, uh, hey, give me some blueprints or whatever? I remember roughly where he was. 
Yeah, here we go. Oh, right. Right. Is Gerard the... What was his title? The Constructionist. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Make an inn. <laughs> That's silly. That's... Okay, it's pretty sick in. All right, new building plans, Yoda. So we got a shop. Shop seems good. Probably got plenty of money. Haven't really been buying a whole lot. And what was the other one? Fishing hut. Okay. Mm, yeah, that looks like a fishing hut, I guess. Fisherman. Oh, I see. So then we gotta find somebody to to be the, the head fisherman or whatever. But the shop is plenty open already, right? Apparently already found a shopkeeper. Oh, right! It was the... the other Dakarian person from the... from the other village, right? <clears throat> they were like, yeah, I always wanted to run a shop somewhere else. And it's like, yeah, how about here? Equipment shop. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, we've already got all that. <laughs> Damn it, we've already got all the cool stuff they've got to sell, so that was kind of a waste. That's right. Let's see what they got for items. Just fucking. Oh, we got some other stuff here. So, yeah, yoink. And yes. Maple syrup. Oh, underrated yet overpriced. Eight does seem like a lot, considering our money stuffs is still floating with the three digits there. Okay, we can sell all this. Also these. That. Hang on to that for now. Well, actually, that's objectively worse than everything else and has nothing special to it. Hang on to the rest of those. Alright, yeah, we made money on that deal. That's fine. We don't have the folks to run the other two things that we built either. We don't have anything else, right? That was it. Music sheets and stuff. I wonder what we can do with those. Let's have a look around. Right, because this goes up, right? Uh huh? Imagine the next inn we stop by, we'll see if the if our, if our pirate friends can use those music sheets. That would be fun. But alright, now we can head back to actual progression. Make our way through the jungle path one more time. <laughs> this big ass face. It's right up in there, huh? Well, that's where we're headed, more or less, but I should probably go give uh, Rashan his vial of time. Could have just call called it an hourglass, but I guess vial of time sounds more important. along here it would be nice alright oh right there was a thing there that we didn't figure out either the deal with that. Still 
not yet have the thing that we need for that, maybe? Hmm, it's not. Oh, God, it's on the way down, little shitter. Well, I mean, we should be able to do 30 whatever, right? 38? One short. All right, Carl, you probably got this. Yeah, easy. Yeah, 48 XP. Woohoo! <laughs> totally. Completely not worth it. And then there was the light stuff. Right, right, right. We might still we might be able to do this one, because we got the whole change day thing. Just whenever we damn well please. I guess is how these are supposed to be arrayed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we can do this. see that's the yeah we did <laughs> good guess on the angles of those Heading to a big story event where our health doesn't really matter anyway. Actually, oh, too Oopsie. No, oh, stupid. outclassing them yet, apparently. Lucid Crystal. I think we've got an open slot. Yeah, what is that? There is one more boost charge when initiating combat. Oh, that's fucking sick. Hell yeah. So we get two instead of one. That's really good, in fact. Oh, and another thing we think. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, look at that. Two charges. Let's see it. All right, let's grab one for Garl. You can do this dude in real quick. All right, it was best that we backtracked before then. Okay, so then we're right on time to do a major story bit, and then probably call it for the night. Depending on how, how much time this story bit takes, honestly. Be like, hey, yeah, you found my vial of time, let me make the thing that takes centuries, etc, etc.
Okay, we found it. We did a cleansing. We got the vial of time. Here it is. You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> throw it at the wall? Oh, shit, yeah, that's my favorite thing to do is throw it at the wall. Let's wind up and really do it. All right, Garl, you heard him. Just fucking go. Whip it. Fuck, look at that. There, I did it. I broke your shit. Oh, hey, look at that. No, it's fine. <laughs> oh, shit. Is the fucking... Is Rashawn gonna be our fifth party member? Or is he gonna be cargo like Teeks? Okay, it's rules. I mean, assistant battle is not my place to win for you. Oh, don't worry about that. Match your power, but never exceed it. Uh, <laughs> so okay, so you're you're gonna level up with that's the in-universe explanation of you leveling up with us. That's funny. I like it. <clears throat> no one other than the four of you can be aware of my true identity. I'm exclusively a Rashan, and most importantly, never as the immortal alchemist. You got it, immortal alchemist. I mean, Rashan. Under no circumstances allowed to fight a dweller. Okay, if confrontation occurs, the dweller's strife, that fight will be yours and yours alone. Alright, I mean, that's fair. Fair, I guess. I don't want to interfere in the affairs of mortals, right? Yeah, your robes are looking a little shabby there, buddy. Can you, uh, time whip yourself up something else? And also, Garl's got a point. Hey, there we go. Just like new. Alright, then we're headed to Mesa Island. Okay. Sick. Oh, they just put us back on the ship. I could have just gone and talked to him first instead of... Tracking through the jungle twice. Ah, well, I'm sure it's fine. We did get the loosened bangle or whatever the fuck it was. Also a traveler of sorts. A traveler through time. <clears throat> Make potions. Eh, yeah, you could say you could say I'm an alchemist. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> oh, it teaks. Oh, it teaks. Excellent. Ah, she knows. <laughs> uh. Cool. We're gonna get another campfire story out of it. I like it. Ocean guy. I mean, he's got a name. His name is Rashan. Rashan? Rashan. But off we go to Mesa Island, I guess. The weird cosmic dome over it probably won't be nothing, right? Ah, oh, that's super cool. He is part of our party. Alright. Of course, he's level, level 12. Um, I guess we'll just give him everything we got right now, right? Undead boosts, additional health. He is roughly on par with everybody else. The M death is super good. M attack also super good. His normal attack is no sl well, I mean it's worse than everybody else's. But not by much. His defense is okay. Alright, so he's about there into it. Okay. Alright, and then off to uh, Blinky Star Place there. Uh, Watcher, or no, Mesa Island. Mesa Island. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> oh, we can land here now, actually. Um, did we... Was there a thing? <clears throat> oh, right. That was the thing that we can't get to, because there ain't no bridge, and this is also another good messenger song. Do 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 Later, maybe. Later, perhaps, we can go do that. Oh, shit, now it's the messenger intro song, too. Ah, oh, this is super cool. Alright. Hopefully they start us off with a... Nice save point. I guess we could always uh, camp on the overworld too, right? We'll see what they give us right out the gate. If anything. Hundred and fifty years, huh? Were you traveling in the past or are you just kinda gonna Oh, just the thing. You're just gonna walk it back 150 years. I see. Whoa! Okay. Wasn't expecting it to be alive alive. But alright. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> What happened? Why is my head uh, suddenly much lower than where it should be? Alright, I mean, he's good. Gets down to business. Doesn't ask a lot of questions. Just like, yeah, alright. I get it. And Garl, of course. Garl steps up. Old Mesa Island at this precise altitude. Anything I can do without hindering my grip, I will gladly oblige. Alright, so he's got probably one free arm, right? Evil castle. I think we can deal with an evil castle. Okay, but he won't let us see danger. That's, you know what, that's, that's legit. That's a thing a friend would do, right? It'd be like, no nah, man, that's, uh, don't do that. Or are we just putting, put, pressing reset on that encounter there? Be like, yeah, yeah, these are, these are friends, but, uh. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, you know, haven't faltered. Blah, 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 blah. Adventurers on a very important mission. Not, not friends. Okay, yeah, I get it. <laughs> that's, that's super good. All right, do it again. <laughs> Just the same thing? Yeah. I mean, Garl, you got it right the first time, really, right? It was uh, Rashawn that fucked up by saying we were friends. Extol and Yeet. Yes. Yes, we have, in fact. Well, we've met Extol. I don't know if we've met Yeet before, have we? Alright, then we can go back to whatever with him. That's good. <laughs> Remove the barrier on the island. Okay. Yeah, no problem. You're not my friend, so I have no problem sending you into danger this time. Yeah. Hmm. Most of those areas look a little familiar. <laughs> All right, good work. Okay, I think then instead of relying on there being a save point up there, which there almost certainly is, we're just gonna camp out on the overworld. Maybe, maybe Teeks has got a story for us regardless, right? We could listen to one more story. Yeah, that's awesome, Rashawn is in here now. Okay, yeah, Garl's in Mr. Island, yeah, sales pumped. Clockwork Castle. Alright, no problem. Teeks, do you, can you tell us about uh, the alchemist? Since you know. Yeah, there we go. Two alchemists. Alright. One more story. 
Alice millennia ago, two powerful alchemists named Rashan and Aferol, okay, the Fleshmancer, set out to create the Elixir of Life and succeeded. All things in alchemy come at a price, naturally, right? Equivalent exchange and all that. The gift of immortality caused their bodies to decay, leading them to conceal their hideousness under colorful robes. Well, that's kind of rude to say. He's standing right over there. Could have picked a better word. Failing at first in the bright side of their immortal coil, spent centuries nurturing the world and creating wonders to inspire its mortals. Time, however, Afer will grow increasingly jealous of the ephemerality he would never taste again. I mean, yeah, being immortal is kind of a bum deal, isn't it? This began his wicked journey into the forbidden schools of alchemy. During which he would, would see every last bit of good in his heart dissipate as he experimented with soul, bone, flesh, and blood alike. Ugh. They would have it if a fully, fully embraced evil and emerged as the flesh man, servant for the mortal, playing the world with monstrous creations. Sean tried intervening as best he could, but all that ensued was unspeakable chaos and collateral damage as two former friends fought with godlike powers. Much struggle, Rashan discovered the flesh mission's only weakness to be solar and lunar magic. Power bestowed upon those born during the solstice. And training those children to become solstice warriors, singularly tasked with culling the numbers of the Flesh Mansion's creations. Oh, okay. So Rashan is responsible for solstice warriors. Got it, got it, got it, got it. <clears throat> but Aferil's knowledge was also growing. Eventually, he became capable of creating oddities of unlimited potential, known as dwellers, and be impervious to all forms of magic except during a total eclipse, when solstice warriors would have a very short window to attempt taking them down. And dwellers, it turned out, were creatures in development feeding on local life. Ah, uh, okay. That's very Chrono Trigger-esque. Hello, Lavos. Uh, left to their own devices for too long, they would evolve into world eaters, spelling doom for all. Armed with knowledge and power, Solstice Warriors patrolled the world, tracking dwellers to determine which should be taken down during the next eclipse. They remained vigilant, there would never be a world eater, but Rashan knew that such a stalemate would only cause a feral to devise something even worse. Oh boy, I don't like that. Desperate an attempt to get ahead, Rashan boldly formed Transmutation Alchemy on the very space-time continuum itself. Oh, no, you don't want to fuck with space-time. That's a bad idea. After successfully splitting reality into countless timelines and parallel worlds, he shelved his alchemy vial took up the mantle of Archivist. On his journey across all realities, he would catalog every possible outcome in search of a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Well, after all, rejoice at the infinite number of opportunities for destruction that just opened up to him, find some measure of peace, blah, 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 blah. They made a pact to let the fate of each timeline play out on its own. Really? That sounds like a pact somebody would go back on. Fleshmancer. So the game of Cat and Mouse began, played by Dwellers and Solstice Warriors on one level, and by Rashan and Aferil on another. A myriad of timelines over numerous centuries, some worlds would never be visited by Aferil, while others would be cursed by his mark. Once marked, it was only a matter of time until the world finally met, or met its finality, often following centuries of struggle. Each would either be destroyed by a world eater or permanently saved by the ascension of a pair of solstice warriors and guardian gods. Okay, well, at least there's a good side to that, I guess. As owner Sean plans on recomposing the timelines or whether he even knows how, it remains to be seen. The end. Well, I mean, we could just ask him. He's, he's over there. Hey, what's up with this infinite timeline shit? He's not fighting a dweller. Okay, well, I mean, fair, I guess. All right, well, that was a good story. That's some good-ass lore. So let's save, and we'll call it there for tonight. Good progress, good progress, good stuff. We got our fifth party member. Seeks has got a book full of stories. Yeah, look at that. I feel like we might get one or two more to fill out the rest of that campfire there, but well, it seems pretty sick to have a Immortal Alchemist on our side. All right, but that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. CDT. It'll be Shmup Book Club. So more Pistol Daimyo no Boken or Blue Revolver, or we could try Death Smiles. All three of those are up for grabs. Friday, Saturday, we're off, and then Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT will be long play. So one more kick at Curse to Gull. We'll see if we carry it another week after this, but we'll see. And then next Monday, 7 p.m. CDT, back here with Sea of Stars. So plenty to do here, it feels like. Plenty to do, which is good. It's a rad-ass game. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.